What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Or if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Today, I know we only just picked up a car in the last video. <laughs> but today, Ross is getting another car today. Today, today, so today so many times. Huh? Basically, I mean, you've probably seen the thumbnail. If we do end up getting it. But um, Ross is gonna be selling this whip, the five series, and he's gonna be having this new car as his new daily slash skidder he's <laughs> like no I'm not going to skid it but he'll skid it so yeah we're driving now to Portsmouth it's only about an hour drive from Brighton I probably won't feel there. film there obviously because that'll be a bit awkward but if he does end up getting the car then I'll carry on filming afterwards 5 series would be a good price Yeah. hit max up maybe yeah. whatever yeah if you want to buy 5 series one careful owner <laughs> Remapped. <laughs> Remapped, it's got a brand new subframe. <laughs> um, yeah, just message Ross or me, whatever you want. Decent price. But yeah, cue the B roll for the new car. As you've seen, Ross has bought himself a 328 coupe as a daily. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done, Ross? Go. Oh, it's not sunk in, it's actually mine. <laughs> yeah. He's always wanted a cool daily. I mean, the 5 Series was sick, super nice and comfortable, and now he's going for this. <laughs> Should be sick though. This I'll walk you around all the specs of this. It's quite mad to be fair it's the stuff it's got on it it's pretty good as you can see it's got the Huxley um, HM Sports uh, full body kit so it's got the side skirts it's got the the front lip which is sick it's got um, felony over fenders uh, the guy said they're 70 no 55 on the front I believe and 75 he said 70 but 70 or 75 on the rear so, uh, it is wide on camera it doesn't look that wide but it is mad it's got some nice rotor grids on their 17s i think he said they're like nine and a half j something like that some fatty spacers in there um it's got the huxley spoiler and the boot lid thing i think ross wants to put um the gt style wing on like what's on the purple coupe uh, it's got some custom exhaust has sports cats in it interior it's actually got a full interior, so it's quite nice. It's got the back seats. We've got some spare wheels with the car as well. The only thing that's missing is the headliner, but that's not a big deal. Hydro, I think it's the same hydro we've got in our coupe, in the purple one, um, but this one's got a Wheelwood Master, which is pretty nice. It's got a Born to Drift um, short shifter, which is junk. 
<laughs> that that's one of the first things in this car that needs to change it is horrible to change the gear with that thing you have to fully yank it it's not not very nice kind of ruins the experience a little bit um, it's got some nice cobra seats actually it's probably the comfiest seats i've sat in to be honest for bucket seats but the nice back in on them it's got i'm not sure what the steering wheel is it's got the driftworks center but I don't know if the steering wheel's drift works or what it is. It doesn't seem to have any branding on it. Pretty fresh, mate. It's got door cards. <laughs> Rarity nowadays. It is a sunroof model. Haven't tried that out yet. Probably best not to try it. No. Um, let's open the bonnet. How do you open this? There we go. You see the steam coming off of it. So it's M52. B28, um, it's got M50 manifold on it, it's got pink ejectors, and the guy said it's remapped, and it's definitely remapped, because I think it went up to about 7,500 RPM. <laughs> normally they go to 7, but it just kept going. Um, what else has it got? It's got Wise Fab, um, top mount, uh, whatever you want to call it, and it's got, you can't really see down there, but it's got HSD coilovers, which are sick. They're quite expensive, so it was a nice, nice little touch. Um, you can just about see the angle kit there a little bit. It's got the gravity angle kit, I think it was called. Um, it's like the, is it SLM style? I don't know, it's, it's quite decent. We just put it on lock and it's quite a lot of lock, to be honest. I don't know what they're extended by. I think they're like 70 mil, something like that. There's some little spaces on the front, probably 15mm spaces, but it's a wide body kit, so they might be quite extended, the arms. The guy actually gave the his previous setup, this had wise fab on it, like full arms and everything, and he chucked that in as well, so... A few fun. skid rims as well. <laughs> yeah, a few skid wheels, and that's it for spares. The only annoying thing is these hood pin things. It hasn't got the actual mechanism, which we could... Put the one off of the other coupon. Don't know. We'll see how difficult it is, isn't it? Yeah, how are you feeling about it, bro? There's a few things I want to change on it. Yeah. Get the replica and three mirrors. Yeah. The rear wing. Probably paint it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll paint the missile that one first. That as well, isn't it? But I mean, it drives nice. There's a few odds and sods yeah. wrong with it. Yeah. It's uh, it's got like a tiny bit of play in the steering. I've noticed, but. I don't know, we just need to jack it up and have a look underneath, check it all over really. But yeah, I think Ross is thinking maybe, we don't know if it's going to happen yet or not, but because we're, we're painting the drift missile purple or velvet blue to match the other velvet blue. I'm going to paint the missile to match the velvet blue one and then we'll see how that paint job comes out and then might paint this one to match as well. So all three will be matching, that'll be sick. Driving up the motorway, all three cars matching would be sick. Uh, but yeah, that's this car is actually originally Montreal blue. I don't know if that's focused. Focus, you pile of junk. Yeah, so it's actually Montreal blue from factory. It's been painted black, obviously. So the original colour of this car is actually very similar to the velvet blue one. Pretty much all the likes work, which is pretty decent. Most of the time, none of the likes work. I think it's actually an M Sport as well because it's got all the M Sport trims everywhere and the rear bumper. Yeah, this thing is low. I mean, well, you can't even see the light coming through the other side. <laughs> it's going to be fun. The only bit of damage is this bit here, which eh, it's not too much of a big deal. You don't really notice it unless you're looking for it, kind of thing. Deep in there, isn't it? I was feeling it up, it was so low, I bend it. <laughs> yeah, have to like crouch down. It's weird, it looks like it's dented, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's just yeah. the flow of it. In pictures, it didn't look like that. Nah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely bigger. Yeah, when we saw the photos of this, like on the advert, I mean, I assumed it would be wide because it had a body kit on it, but it doesn't do it justice. Like in person, this thing is wide. Like that's where your normal E36 would be. And look, it is massive. It's longer than my hand. It's mad. Yeah, this is his daily, so it's not going to be too much of a skid car type thing, but I'll we'll probably take it pod and stuff. Well, then we might have to test it. <laughs> yeah, we have to See how it holds up. take it to Mex Mexico for a while and give it a little test, but don't want to go too crazy as he does need a daily. Needs a bit of touching up on the 
skirt there, but that's not a big deal. Just get a bit of black paint, yeah, M3 mirrors, yeah. get some China Direct ones. You get some replicas, I think they're about 70 quid. Yeah. In colour as well. Yeah. Yeah, this you can barely bloody see out the car with this. I'm gonna take that off. Yeah, it looks cool, but it's it's just a pain. When you have traffic lights and that, you can't even see the lights. No, and that is like that is a cop magnet as well. It's the cops fake. hate that. Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's not got um, harnesses. It's just got like the factory seat belt, so it's just quite nice for a daily. The engine it is bogging a little bit, um, so up to about 4,000 RPM, it sort of bogs and then it kicks in so there might be a dodgy sensor somewhere but we, when I get home we're going to plug the code reader in and see if it says anything if not we'll just change a few of the sensors that normally go like the camshaft sensor crankshaft sensor and the uh, air intake temp sensor they're the main ones uh, but other than that it runs nice it idles really nice Standard BMW job here bit of cable tires yeah. Yeah. Fill up. that is a quality job right there Oh, it's a Samota. It's not. A, I thought this was a Chinese thing. Samota's good, mate. They're expensive. Yeah, it's nice. It's beefy, isn't it? Maybe a bracket made up. Or yeah, something. probably make some sort of bracket that goes like this from here to here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get that 3D <laughs> printer going. <laughs> Loads of loose wires. So many connectors here. Don't know what they're supposed to be. Wiring going down here as well. So. Yeah, all the lights are a bit yeah, there. Nice. Ow! I keep putting my hand on the bloody yeah. radiator. Just drove two hours. <laughs> yeah. The other thing's loose, I mean, look. Yeah. Probably gonna have to... Have to cover that up because it's all gonna get wet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's straight through from the bottom. Oh, I've done it again. It's all gonna spray up. Yeah, probably do with a new clutch fan. Do you wanna give him a few little revvies? A few little revvies? When you're in the car, it's not too bad. No. Like you can definitely hear it while you're driving it, but it's not crazy rowdy. quite loud at the back there, not gonna lie. <laughs> it doesn't sound that loud when you're in the car, but it's quite loud. It's got some, it's, it's like, I don't know if it's just running poorly or it's got a pop and bangs map, because on diesel it's like pop, 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 like constant little pops. It's not too obnoxious, like it's not like anti-loud, like bah, it's just like boom, 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 little burbles. Or... Yeah, it might just be running super rich or something, but we'll we're gonna jack this up in the next week or so and just check it all over. I'll change a few things on it, but it's really decent. Yeah, because it was looking at uh, the same car, so it was a three to eight um, black stock, but it was actually more money and it was completely stock. So over time, it's gonna end up doing these sort of mods anyway. So for, and it was actually like 500 quid cheaper yeah. to get this one that's all modified already. And it's not cheaply done either. All the parts in this are super nice parts. And it's our closer drive. So. Yeah, yeah, it was closer as well, yeah. So it just, it's a no brainer really. It's not gonna be as comfy as a daily than the stock one. But in the long run, you're I mean, better off. are comfy compared yeah. to other ones. Yeah. yeah, the Sparco's in the purple one, it just, they are juniors. So they're, they're quite tight, where these you sort of, you're just perfectly snug, it's nice. So yeah, probably see more videos on this, doing little mods here and there, and some general maintenance, and probably some skids. Oh, that's another thing, the gearbox sounds like it's got no oil in it. It sounds like a, a sequential gearbox, it whines like crazy. It is, mate, that's what. Yeah, it feels like it when you're shoving that thing in. I mean, originally it was auto. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, this was originally an auto. Now it's a manual, obviously. But, but yeah, so definitely need some gearbox oil. Yeah, it's a nice little touch, eh? Nice little touch. Hopefully this one stays on the road you know, a bit longer than yeah. <laughs> the other one. Hopefully we don't have to replace a subframe on this one. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> yeah. There's no traction control button in this one. <laughs> oh yeah, the front and rear jacking bars we need. If anyone 
in the UK makes a front jacking bar because you can get the rear easy but if anyone makes a front jacking bar message me on Instagram because we definitely need three of them <laughs> too many cars man too many headaches it's a problem. we got what three four cars now yeah for van. three 36s three 36s yeah. van that'd be for selling a few weeks so yeah does anyone want a refrigerated van who's also got one of them <laughs> don't ask why so yeah hope you enjoyed the video um adding another car to the channel it's always cool make sure you subscribe to see more e-places content because there's plenty of it <laughs> there's so many e-places now uh, but yeah so like comment subscribe and see you in the next one goodbye